We are going to be keeping it clean keto today and we are going to stay under 20 total carbs today. So if you wanna know what I ate today, then keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And thank you so much for my returning subscribers. I love you all. You guys know I wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you so much for returning back to my channel. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another what I eat in a day video. Um, I am going to be sharing with you a recipe that I've never made before. It's not really a new recipe, it's just a new way to have an old recipe. So stay tuned for that you guys. And But first we are going to get started on our morning coffee. So let's get into that. All right, you guys, so I always warm up my water in the microwave in order to make my coffee, but you guys can use um, a kettle or whatever you want if you're making the coffee like I do. But obviously, if you're making traditional coffee in a coffee maker, then you'll skip this step. Um, so one second, I will show you guys how I make my coffee. I mentioned it in a lot of my videos, but for my new viewers, I just wanted to show you how I make my keto collagen coffee. All right, so I have my hot water in here and what I do because I am hooked on the instant coffee still, I do three teaspoons of instant coffee. I get this instant coffee from the dollar store. Actually, It's my favorite. I started drinking it when actually I was camping last summer and I've just became addicted to it. So I still do have it as well. And then I'm going to add two sweeteners. These I also get from the dollar store here in Canada. Um, these are just a sugar substitute. You guys can use whatever sort of sugar substitute that you guys have on keto. So we're just going to add those. And then next I add my collagen. So I mentioned before collagen, you guys, is really, really important. Um, this is what I get. I get the um, cinnamon toast, but I've also had the caramel and the chocolate. I have a link down below because I usually get mine off of Amazon here in Canada. Um, sometimes I have ordered straight from the website, the Perfect Keto website, um, but I usually order it off of Amazon. So I always have that link down below in my favorites. Then I add a splash of the vanilla skinny syrup. I get mine from either Marshall's or Winners. Winners is kind of like uh, TJ Maxx in the States. Um, so that's where I get all of my skinny syrups. They have a really, really good selection if you guys are looking to get some for yourself. And then of course I ended up uh, with heavy whipping cream. And I usually put, it's probably about two tablespoons is what I'm thinking I put in there. And then that is it, you guys. That is my collagen coffee. And then what I do is I usually mix it in my Ninja. So we have a Ninja coffee maker. Um, I've mentioned it before as well too, but we absolutely love this coffee maker. Um, it does a whole bunch of different things. It even does like iced coffee, specialty coffees, classic, rich, um, and even has a dial so that you guys can pick and choose what size of coffee you want. And then, like I mentioned, the spoon on the side has it for like a half or a full pot of coffee, or it tells you the exact measurements that you will need if you want to just do one cup. But what I love about it is it has this frother on the side. So I just put my coffee in there and then I press the button at the top and then I have some nice creamy coffee. So let's do that. All right, you guys, and that is it. I'm one of my favorite mugs as well, too. Another Ray Dunn mug that Zoe got me. She always calls me Mama Bear, so she found this mug and thought of me, which was absolutely perfect. Um, so, yeah, this is my coffee, you guys. It is absolutely delicious. It gets so nice and creamy, and it's just my favorite way to start off the day, you guys. So I'm just going to have my coffee, and then after that, we will get into meal number one. Also too, I work today, so I work later on this afternoon at three o'clock until 9.30 tonight, but I am going to make my second meal and I am going to take it with me so you guys will be able to see what I make and 
Um, it's a really good meal. It's one of my basic meals as well too, but it's 100% clean keto. So let's finish our coffee and get into meal number one. All right, you guys, let's get started on meal number one. And what I am going to make for meal number one is going to be some pizza chaffles. So I've made chaffles many times below. I always have my recipe that I use linked down below in the description. I type it out and I just leave it there permanently so that you guys can look at that because I have a lot of people asking what recipe I prefer. And I have it with coconut flour. I'm allergic to all nuts, so that's why I use coconut flour in my recipe. Um, so it's a favorite. I love chaffles. I love how versatile they are for any meal of the day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can always make chaffles and make them really versatile to whatever you wanna make with them. I've had them as buns. I use them with my burgers. I've used them um, sweet chaffles. I've had them like as waffles. I've made stuffed French toast. Um, out of them as well as I've used keto bread, but I've used both of them. It is absolutely amazing I will link that video here if you haven't tried it already you guys It is really really good But if you don't like the keto bread or you're trying to do a lot of like total carbs and stay clean keto I've made it out of sweet chaffles before too and it is just as good as well, too but today we are going to make something savory and we are going to make the pizza chaffle. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so I have my chaffle maker here. I have the four chaffle maker that I got off of the, the shopping network here in Canada. Um, I would have that always linked down below as well. And I also have just the single um, chaffle maker listed down below in my favorites for Amazon because that's what I started out with and it was absolutely perfect actually at the time. I've just now um, been making a lot of chaffles so I use my four chaffle maker. All right, so we are going to start off by having one egg. And then we are going to use a half a cup of shredded cheese. You guys can use whatever kind of shredded cheese that you like. I always get the mixed blend all the time. So we're gonna use a half a cup of that. And then we are going to add some coconut flour as well. And make sure you look at my recipe down below because if you guys want to make it with almond flour, it's different measurements for the almond flour comparable to the coconut flour. But a lot of my regular subscribers absolutely love my recipe and um, I get a lot of compliments on my recipe and how it tastes so much better than the almond flour one. But um, if you guys don't have coconut flour on hand, then feel free to use the almond flour. And then I'm just going to put some of the baking powder in there as well too. And then we are going to mix that up. I'm gonna add just a little bit of, of salt. And I think because I'm making this pizza style, I'm going to add in some basil as well too. So let me grab those spices quick. I'm actually going to add in a little bit of oregano as well too, um, because I feel like those are kind of like savory pizza flavorings. So we're just gonna put a little bit of a dash of the pink Himalayan salt, and I'm just gonna use a dash of both the oregano and the basil as well too. Um, just because these are pizza flavored, so we'll uh, give these a little bit more extra seasonings for that. Then we're just going to mix that all together. And then by the time you're done mixing your ingredients together, your chaffle maker should be all warmed up. And that's what I like uh, about chaffles is they're very, very quick. Um, not a lot of mess, not a lot of ingredients. So it's really, really easy to make when you're in a hurry. You guys can still, still stay keto by making chaffles. Okay, another thing that I mentioned to you guys that I always put to make your chaffles extra crispy I always put a little bit of shredded cheese on the bottom and on the top. So I will show you when I make them in my um, chaffle maker here. 
Um, then I put a little bit on the bottom and a little bit on the top. And I also make three chaffles because when I found I was making two with my recipes, it was overflowing. So now I, I get three and hey, that more food for me, right? So let's get started. Our chaffle maker, the green light just went on. So we are ready to put them in our waffle maker. Ooh, watch me under the light. So keep me in your side. Cause I can do this all night You can call it what you want I got something else in mind Oh, if it's you I've been waiting for I better make you worth my time So don't you pay right. them There you go, we are done with those And what we are going to do, I always tell everybody to leave it for four minutes Four minutes, they turn it absolutely perfect. Don't lift it up and check on them. Just absolutely leave it for four minutes, you guys. So we will be back and those will be done in four minutes. All right, you guys, it has been four minutes. So our waffles are perfectly done, you guys. So they look absolutely perfect. They are nice and crispy. And I'll plug that. Okay. So we're just gonna let these cool for like just a minute, literally. I'm just gonna get this all cleaned up and then we will come back and assemble, assemble our little pizza chaffles and then I will show you what we are going to do next. All right, you guys, so these have cooled off a couple of minutes. What I'm going to do after I'm assembling my pizzas, I'm gonna put them in the air fryer, you guys. That I thought would be a perfect way to kind of get the cheese melted and it um, completed cooking. So we are just going to make all three of these a piece of pizza chaffle. Um, I am going to use the Rayo's pizza sauce. I get this off of Nutramarket.ca. It's down below for Canadian subscribers, but it is three grams of carbs with one gram of fiber for a quarter of a cup. So what I think I'm going to do is actually, I'm gonna measure out a quarter of a cup and put them on all three, like divide it up, just so that we're staying within our macros. It's really, really important to measure your sauces. Because I do feel that your sauces can kind of get away from you. Um, so that's why it's always really, really important to measure out your sauces. All right, so, and a quarter of a cup is gonna be plenty for these three. So that's about a quarter of a cup, maybe a little bit less, but I don't want it to spill over. And we are just gonna top this off with our pizza sauce and we are just gonna assemble our pizzas, just whatever sort of topping that you want. Um, today, I am just going to stick to pepperoni. Um, that's one of my favorites. I usually, sometimes we'll get it like a fully loaded or, you know, put green peppers and some mushrooms on it. But today I'm just going to stick with having a pepperoni pizza. So we will get all of this sauce and a quarter of a cup is perfect for three chaffles. Um, depending if you guys like yours really, really um, saucy or not, but a quarter of a cup was absolutely perfect, which is great. All right, and then next I'm just going to put my pepperoni um, on each of the chaffles. Now this is the pepperoni I use, it's pillars is what it's called. And for 10 slices, it is one total carb. So these ones are really, really good and really, really low in carbs, but just use whatever sort of pepperoni that you guys like. I'm sure everybody probably has their favorite, um, but pick something. They're all mostly pretty low in carbs, pepperoni, I must say. Um, so that's another reason. And it's high in fat. So because of those two reasons, I always like using um, pepperoni. All right, there we go. So that is 10 slices. So that's going to be another carb, one carb. And then we are going to put the cheese on the top. And you guys can also measure your cheese if you'd like, if you're still um, losing and counting macros, definitely be measuring um, whatever you can. But for the most part, I have been doing this kind of for a long time, especially my cheese. I can kind of gauge on how much cheese is, is a serving. All right, and that is it. So these are all assembled. So now to figure out 
<laughs> I'm still having a little bit of trouble with my air fryer, but um, I think for the most part, we are just going to leave it at 350 and I am just gonna lower the amount of time that I'm gonna put on it, okay? So you can kind of see it here. Um, the temperature I'm gonna leave at 350 and the minutes I'm actually just going to put down, we're gonna start at seven and we're gonna see how that works. So it's gonna preheat for a while and then when it's done preheating, then I will put in the chaffles. All right, you guys, so this is preheated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our chaffles in here. All right, and then we are just going to cook them for the seven or eight minutes. We'll check on them about halfway through because like I said, I'm still learning with this. So we will check on it in a few minutes. All right, you guys, it has been three minutes and I'm just going to, oh yeah, I think those are done. That's been three minutes. So um, I think I'm gonna take them out now and let's give them a taste test. All right, this is them just out of the oven. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I think this is gonna be a winner, you guys. I think this is gonna be like another good pizza recipe. Pizza is, is obviously my favorite food. I try to keep on thinking of different variations, how I can make pizza. Uh, to date, my favorite is probably the bacon weave pizza that I made. Um, I will link a video right here, but oh man, that pizza is absolutely delicious, but I can't wait to try these, you guys. It's cooling. I wanna show you guys the new Bang energy drinks that I got. I know probably for some of you guys in the States, um, that are watching this you've probably had these flavors for a while but it's it's a pretty big deal here in canada so what me and my neighbor actually did is um she loves bangs drinks as well too so i ordered two cases of one flavor and she ordered two cases of a different flavor and then so we could get four different flavors so we got six of each flavor um to try four different flavors because we wanted to try some of these because they are finally coming out in canada so i did try this one actually yesterday and oh it was delicious this one is the peach mango one and it is so good for my canadian followers i will have um the website that i found it down below I can't remember the website off the top of my head. Um, my neighbor actually found it, so it's not a regular one that I order from, but I will link it down below so that you guys can order some of these bang drinks. Unfortunately, they only sell them in cases, but um, it's worth a try if you guys love bang. Like these will last me uh, probably a couple months for sure. I also got the strawberry kiss, which I'm anxious to try. I've heard that's a really, really good one. And then I also got, well, these ones were the ones that my neighbor got. And then this one is the Apple Crisp. Anxious to try that. And a lot of people, a lot of other YouTubers love this flavor. And this is the Guava Pear. So I'm excited to try all of these. I've tried, like I said, the peach one, and it was absolutely delicious. So just wanted to share that with you guys, if you guys are from Canada and you know, you're anxious to get some of the new flavors of bangs, you, you can get them here. Um, but I will have that website linked for you guys down below and give it a try if you're interested. I will keep you guys posted on which one I like the best out of these four. Um, probably, I would say in next week's video, um, give me a chance to have some of them. I don't have these every day, but if I am fasting, um, they call it kind of like a dirty fast, but these are zero everything. So you can have one of these and it will not break your fast. So this is sometimes what I'll have um, instead of a coffee because my coffee does um, contain calories. So if I am fasting and I need something in the morning, some sort of energy, I will have a bang drink. So these will last me a while. I probably have, I would say maybe two a week, just guessing. Um, I usually do stick with my coffee, but I will keep you guys posted on which flavor I like the best. Right now, my favorite is the Blue Raz. That's kind of always been my favorite, but I will let you guys know what I think of these four flavors. All right, you guys. <laughs> How much do you guys want to bet that I am going to get pizza all over my white shirt? Like, I don't know why I do that. I only have a few white shirts because they always end up staining, but 
I need a bib some days, I swear. But we are going to give these a taste. They smell delicious. They smell like real pizza, you guys. I swear, I swear that they smell like real pizza. I don't lie about my pizza, girls. So let's give this a taste test and see how it tastes. Mmm. That's so good. I love pizza so much. I can't believe I'm 44 years old and my favorite food is pizza. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I do like a good steak. That's probably another one of my favorite meals, but I love pizza. It's my absolute favorite. So this is nice and quick, which I love about this for the pizza chaffle. I would still say that my the pizza weave pizza is my favorite, but it takes a lot of work. Um, just getting the, the bacon already, um, did I say pizza weave? I meant bacon weave pizza. Um, but that's my favorite. But this is really good and quick, which I absolutely love. It has that crisp from um, putting the extra cheese on the bop and bottom on the top. So make sure you guys give it a try. I will have the calories and the total carbs for this whole entire meal because let's face it, your girl's a food addict and I will, I will eat all three of these. So I will put that up on the screen right now and we will see you guys uh, when I start making meal number two. I'm gonna get started on that right away here, probably within the half hour, hour, just because I do work today and I will be taking it with me. All right, you guys? All right, you guys, that was absolutely delicious for my meal number one and I didn't even get anything on my white shirt. I'm impressed. All right, we are going to get started on meal number two and I will be taking this meal with me because I do work tonight at three till 9.30. Um, so what I'm gonna have is a basic meal. I've made this from day one. I'm going back to basic. I'm, I'm actually sharing a lot of the recipes that I was having when I was losing. Let me know down below in the comments if you're liking that. Um, these are the things that I ate exactly when I was losing weight on keto. So um, I'm going to share with you, it's a basic recipe, but it's going to be steak and it's going to be um, with a side of vegetables. So what I like doing, especially in the summertime, is I will usually um, go on the barbecue, cook my steak and cook my vegetable skewers. So that's going to be number two meal, but we are going to do them both in the air fryer. We're gonna try this air fryer out. We are gonna to get to becoming a pro at using this thing. Um, so I'm gonna make a steak first. And then after that, I actually ended up getting a little rack that came with my air fryer. And I got some skewers as well too. So I'm going to put zucchini and mushrooms on the skewers. And then we are going to put those in the air fryer and see how they taste. Now, I will also show you what I also have with that meal because both of those items, the steak and the vegetables, are really, really low in fat. I did marinate my steak because we are hunters and we only have deer and elk as our source of, of beef. Um, we do have lots of chicken and ham, but we have enough meat to last us for the whole year because we are hunters. And fortunately, my husband Jimmy does our own butchering as well too, so it helps with the cost. So we only have elk and deer. So today I am going to be um, frying up, air frying some of the, um, I believe they're deer steaks um, in the air fryer. And deer is very, very lean. So I marinated mine for usually a day or two. Um, these I actually marinated overnight. And I have a mixture of just kind of a little bit of everything. I don't follow a recipe for it, but I do use olive oil and I do use the um, aminos, the liquid aminos that's kind of like a soy sauce. And I also put a little bit of Italian dressing in it as well. And then just some spices, the Montreal steak spice, pepper and pink Himalayan salt. And that's pretty much my marinade. Oh, and the Worcestershire sauce as well too. That's my marinade that I use for um, my elk and deer all the time if I'm doing a roast. It tastes really, really good without marinating it, but if I have the chance to marinate it, I will. So let's get started on meal number two and we are gonna start by air frying the steak. Okay, these are the steaks, you guys. They're, they are deer steaks because they're a little bit smaller, but they're really, really lean. But like I said, I've been marinating, marinating them for a day, so the olive oil and stuff will add a little bit of fat, but I will also show you when my meal is complete what I add to give it a little bit more fat. So 
let me see, does this have a steak? Okay, so this does have a steak button. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm gonna cook it on the steak button. Um, here, let me show you guys. All right, so I am going to cook it on the steak um, button because they do have a steak button here and it looks like it's 400 for six minutes which I actually think might be okay. The only thing when you're cooking venison is you're actually supposed to cook it at a low heat for um, like for still for a short amount of time. But um, our meat, like from our elk and deer, don't taste gamey at all. Um, I don't know what it depends on, but Jimmy actually lets it hang for a little bit longer too. And I think that helps as well. So... I think what we're gonna do, okay, we're just gonna, cause this should still be warm maybe from our pizza a little bit. It doesn't sound like it's preheating. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I always have it linked down below, but it is amazing. I do love it. The only problem that I'm having is figuring out my times and my temperatures. You know what I mean? Cause it's just a learning process, right? And all of you guys are definitely helping me with that, which I appreciate so much. So if you guys have any suggestions of what I am doing or what I'm not doing <laughs> or what I shouldn't be doing, let me know because I'm still learning at this, you guys. Okay, so we are gonna put our, there's three steaks here and I'm gonna cook them all up at once. And so we are gonna put these in our air fryer just like so. All right, there we go. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna leave them cook at that temperature, which was 400 degrees for six minutes. And I guess we will check on them then. I do have like a meat thermometer that I will um, check them. I usually like mine about medium, maybe medium rare, but we will do this way and we'll check on them maybe like halfway through. So let's do that. All right, you guys, well, since that is cooking, and I'm sorry if it's loud, if you can hear that, but I'm just gonna quickly cut up my vegetables, wash my mushrooms, and then we are going to assemble them on the skewers because we are going to do that next, right after our steak comes out, okay? So let's quickly do that and get that all ready. I know it cooks up fast but I just like the idea that I can like set it and and leave it you know what I mean okay so I have a meat thermometer here that I am going to check uh, there we go we are going to do it medium rare so it should be 145 degrees I always stick it in the thickest one so let's see if it's getting close to done there was just like a minute left on the air fryer, so I don't think this is quite up to temperature yet. Okay, so that one is fairly thick. So let's check the smaller one, just to double check. Okay, so that isn't, they aren't done yet. So I'm gonna put them in for another, I'm gonna put them in for another two minutes. So let me see, three minutes, there we go. Three minutes and then they should be done by then. And as you guys can see, sorry if that's loud, our little vegetable skewers are all ready to go once our steak is done. All right, this is almost done. It had a little bit less than a minute on it. So let's check the temperature now. Let me check the thickest one. Perfect, so these are done. I got the green light. 
So that is, wow, I absolutely love this. Hopefully they taste good. So what we are going to do is just put them on a plate and we are going to let those rest. You're supposed to let steak rest equal amount to the time that you actually cook it, which is going to be perfect because we are going to now cook our vegetable skewers. I love this thing. I'm so glad that it came with, that's awesome. So we are just going to put those in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press the vegetable button. And okay, turn that off. Vegetable button and 300 degrees for 10 minutes. So that's what it says for the vegetables. So let's give that a try. All right, so that's gonna be perfect. So we'll let these rest, let the vegetables cook and I will get back to you guys when everything is all done. Okay, well that is finished cooking. Sorry again if it's loud. I'm just going to cut up my steak because um, I don't like, like I take mine kind of like in a container and I don't like um, have enough room to cut it, but that is a perfect steak. I can't, I still can't believe it. I'm loving this air fryer, you guys. Um, I kind of thought to myself when I was looking for one, I was like, do I really need one? Like I can cook a lot of things in the oven or the stove, but now that I have one, I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to cut up two of these steaks and take two with me. And I will keep the third one here at home. My husband will probably have it maybe with his dinner. But that is what I am going to take for my dinner and the vegetables as well too. So two more minutes for the vegetables and they will be done. And then I will show you guys what I do to add some fat to my meal in just a second once we get this all ready um, to go. All right, you guys, so my vegetables are done. And I'm just going to quickly put my steak in my container here. Then I'm going to grab my vegetable skewers and I'm going to dish those into here as well too. I'm gonna to just do, actually I do two of them. There we go, perfect. All right, now, now I am going to add a little bit of fat source and what I'm going to be using is my artichoke and the Asiago dip. I love this dip, I get it from Walmart. It has really, really good macros. So for two tablespoons, it has one total carb and one fiber. So technically it's zero net carbs, but you guys know today I am doing total carbs but I am going to use the two, two tablespoons. I know it looks like a lot, but you know what? This is where we're gonna get our fat from. And that is it, you guys. Then supper is done and ready, and it's as easy as that. So this is going, this is going to be meal number two that we are taking with us to work. We have some deer steak that is done medium rare, and then I have some vegetable skewers with the artichoke and asiago dip on there. It is gonna be a perfect supper, and I will have on the screen, if I forget to show me eating at work, but I will have on the screen the total calories and the total carbs. And as well, what I'm going to do, you guys, um, just in case I get a sweet tooth, I'm going to have some Lily's baking chips. These aren't the cleanest for sure, but for 16, sorry, for 26 chips, it is eight total carbs. So I'm going to do, um, sorry, I'm just gonna do seven grams and I'm going to take that with me and I'm just going to weigh it out on here to make sure that I'm getting the exact amount. Um, this is my scale that I have. So what I'm going to do, it's already zeroed out. These little containers I actually got at Winners. Um, I love them. They're perfect for adding like a dip or a little bit something extra if you're wanting like, for example, these chocolate chips that I'm having. And we are just going to put seven grams in, in there. And it's not going to be very much. I know it's not going to be very much, you guys. Okay, that's even too much. 
but I feel like it's just going to be like a perfect something just to have, um, to kind of like have a little bit of a sweet tooth afterwards. And I would take my, I would take my, um, fat bombs, but my fat bombs actually need to keep in the freezer. So that is why I'm taking this. So we need, we need seven grams. So that should be good, I think. All right, well, that's all, that's what I'm gonna take. So it's not, not very much, you guys. I know it's not a lot, but I can just have this afterwards and it will satisfy my sweet tooth as well, too. So I will put the calories and the total carbs on the screen for this little bit of chocolate chips as well, too. All right, you guys, for supper as well, I'm going to be taking this coconut pineapple ice drink. These are really, really good. I buy a big pack at Costco, actually. It has four different kind of flavors, I believe, and it has zero everything. So I'm going to take that as well for my lunch today when I have it later on. So I will see you guys in the next clip. I am off to work. I literally have to leave here in like 10 minutes. So I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, you guys, I am just at work right now. I am working three until 9.30 tonight at Winners, which is like a TJ Maxx in the States. So I will catch up with you hopefully on my supper break. And um, I will tell you guys what I think of that air fried steak and vegetables. I'm pretty excited to try it. So far, I'm loving that air fryer. And if I can cook a steak in like six minutes in the air fryer, like that is a bonus for me. I am loving that factor that things are done so fast right now. I'm sure I'm probably like late to the game and you guys are like, duh, Jada, you should have got it a long time ago. <laughs> but all right, you guys, I am getting to work and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, you guys, I am home from work. It is just after a little after 1030, actually. I was just on the phone with my youngest daughter, Zoe. I had talked with her for my drive home, and then we ended up talking some more. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys about my supper, which was the steak and the vegetables. It was so good, you guys. I couldn't believe how tender my steak was. It was absolutely delicious. Highly recommend if anybody is looking for an air fryer, like I am 100% sold. Absolutely 100% sold. I, I like it because I don't have to think about what I'm putting in there. So normally if I make a steak either on the barbecue or in the frying pan, I kind of, I don't baby it, but you know what I mean? You kind of have to make sure it's not burning. Flip it over. Like, you know what I mean? On one side, flip it on the other side. I can put it into the air fryer and not even think about it, which I absolutely love. So that was put, cooked at the right temperature and all the minutes. I think it was a total of like, what, 10 minutes or eight minutes or something like that for that steak. And it was absolutely delicious. So, and that was all I had to eat. I had my um, Lily's chocolate chips as well to you guys. And that was perfect for me. I had my supper around 530 today and I was fully satisfied. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I thought supper was, and it was absolutely delicious. All right, you guys, so that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for spending the day with me to see what I eat, having another successful, clean keto meals. So make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button, give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content, and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.